Lions are tough, one of the toughest animals known to man. But are they the absolute toughest? Well, maybe not. There are actually some animals out there that are so very tough, even the king of the jungle is fearful of them. These are the strongest animals that the lion never wants to meet. Number 20. Wildebeests Wildebeests appear on the menu of most lions, and given that 400,000 wildebeest babies are born each year, lions are not short of snacks. So it's actually not correct to assume that lions would want to avoid them. Still, wildebeests do strangely have a few cards to play when it comes to surviving in an environment with so many animals, including lions, trying to kill them. The most crucial tactic they have is herding. The bigger herd they're in, the higher their chance of survival. Lions are intelligent, and they'll weigh up their chances of success, and often reach the conclusion that they're not going to have much luck bringing down one of the weaker wildebeests in a herd. Wildebeests also protect their young in these herds, obviously realizing that lions would prefer younger, easier wildebeests to the older, more mature ones. But herding is just one of the many furry tricks up their sleeves. They also make sure they spend most of their time out in the open savanna where they can spot approaching predators, and they listen for alarm calls from other animals. For example, if they hear baboons shrieking, they generally know that they need to be on high alert for an approaching threat like a lion. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Tigers In pretty much no scenario will you ever see a tiger cross paths with a lion in the wild, so they don't know what each other is or understand what they're supposed to do when they meet. But you can bet that lions will be shaking in their boots when they learn what tigers are capable of. Sure, tigers and lions are about the same size, so a tiger isn't going to have a size advantage, but they are heavier, and muscle is heavier than fat. While a lion's no small fry at 550 pounds, tigers can weigh as much as 800 pounds. They would definitely have a physical advantage. And even though tigers and lions don't meet each other in the wild, so we can't say how this plays out, we do have some past historical moments to further strengthen the idea that lions would never want to meet tigers. And that's because they have, and it didn't go well. In the 1800s, an Indian ruler, the Gaikawada of Baroda, organized a fight between a lion and a tiger. The odds were set at 1 to 37,000 for the tiger to win. The Gaikawad ended up losing 37,000 rupees, which is nearly $11,000 in today's money converted into USD. And more recently, in 2011, a tiger found a gap in a fence in Ankara Zoo in Turkey and killed a lion with one swift claw to the jugular. Number 18. Gorillas Silverback gorillas are incredibly strong animals that none of us would want to get caught up in an altercation with, let alone a lion. Lions stand a pretty decent chance of coming out on top in a fight, but it really could go either way, and that's probably enough for them to give each other their distance. Silverback gorillas can weigh up to 500 pounds while standing up to around 6 feet tall. They have strong jaw muscles and teeth, and they are extremely solid. You also wouldn't want to experience a bite from a silverback gorilla, since their teeth are strong enough to break through bamboo, bark, and other hard food. But of course, they're vegetarian, so it's unlikely that they'd want to bring a lion down for any reason other than to get rid of a threat. A lion's motive is more sinister, since they're born hunters. They can grow up to about 6.5 feet long, which actually puts them in the same weight and height or length range as gorillas. The difference is, of course, that lions are born to hunt, whereas gorillas aren't. The thick fur on their necks prevent bites, and they are well versed in bringing down antelopes, wildebeests, and zebras. I don't know about you, but I'm not ready to put my money on either of these animals. Number 17. Polar Bears Coca-Cola really did a number on the polar bear. They made us think it was this cute, cuddly animal that liked to wear red scarves and socialize with pandas, grizzly bears, and black bears. In reality, they are fast, 
fierce, strong animals that weigh up to 1,400 pounds and stand up to eight feet high. They have an incredible bite force of 1,235 PSI and can run at speeds of 25 miles an hour. And given that they can easily take down seals, walruses, even whales, you won't find an animal that's entirely comfortable about getting in their personal space. And that's why a lion would probably never want to meet one. Sure, lions are fierce killers too, with way more aggression and speed than polar bears, but they don't have the same robustness. One bite from a lion wouldn't be enough to debilitate a polar bear, with all that blubber underneath its fur acting as a form of protection and insulation, which means that the polar bear could probably annihilate a lion in seconds. And that is definitely not something you'd want to see printed on a Coke bottle. Number 16. Buffaloes. I've always been under the impression that the fierce predatory nature of lions means that even large animals like buffaloes aren't a problem for them. It's not like buffaloes are built for fighting, nor do they have meat-eating teeth to use to their advantage. But shockingly, cape buffaloes are usually the winners in a lion versus buffalo battle. Cape buffaloes can weigh up to almost 2,000 pounds, whereas lions tip the scales at under 600 pounds. That is their first disadvantage, but not their last. Cape buffaloes are also much taller, which means that lions have to work hard to even try to gain some kind of height advantage. Sure, lions run much faster, but their smaller size really does put them at a disadvantage. What you may also not know about cape buffaloes is that they're basically armored and ready for battle. They have thick and dense ribs that protect their organs and chest from teeth and claws. It usually takes an entire pride of lions to bring down a buffalo, and many of them risk being thrown into the air by the buffalo's strong head, neck, and horns. Funnily enough, it's like single lions know they don't stand a chance, so if they aren't hunting in a pride, they often go after the weak, old, or injured buffaloes, or those that are too small and defenseless to fight them off. Number 15. Hippos Hippos are the third largest land mammal, and there's your first clue about their potential victory in the ring with a lion. They can weigh over 3,300 pounds in the wild, but some hippos in captivity have even reached weights of over 7,000 pounds, which is pretty much 10 times the size of a lion. So given how large and bulky they are, you might assume that they don't have speed on their side. Surprisingly, if you were to enter a running race with a hippo, you just might lose. They can move around 30 miles an hour on land and about 5 miles an hour in the water. Hippos don't just go around attacking lions since they're herbivores. There's no way their cow-like digestive system could handle meat like that from a lion. But that's not to say that they wouldn't attack and kill a lion. They would do just that if a lion had the confidence to try to attack them first. One lion couldn't kill a hippo, but a whole pride just might stand a chance, and there would be plenty of food to go around for days. Hippos rarely give lions the opportunity, though. They are highly aggressive and territorial, and lions rarely wander into hippos' territory unless they're out of the water. Number 14. Rhinos The last battle you'd expect to see is one between a lion and a rhino. So it might not be clear who would win or whether a rhino is an animal a lion would do its best to avoid. When you look at the body differences between rhinos and lions, it's clear rhinos have a size advantage. They can weigh over 3,000 pounds, whereas lions are just a mere fraction of that. Rhinos also live much longer, which probably means they're wiser, right? It's also not hard to spot the noticeable size differences. Rhinos can grow up to 12 feet long and nearly 6 feet tall, which definitely gives them the advantage over lions, who are much smaller. Oh, all right, now let's get down to the nitty gritty of it here. If a rhino were to encounter a lion on a bad day and they were both in a bad mood with each other, how would that situation play out? Well, the first thing a rhino would do is probably charge. If it charged at the lion, it could send it flying into the air and even injure it with its horn. All a lion really has is its speed and sharp teeth. One bite may not debilitate a rhino, so I could definitely see why a lion would be wary of getting into a battle with one alone. Number 13. Zebras Zebras are striped equines that come from the same species as donkeys and horses. They are known for having really strong stomachs and can eat rough, thick food like branches, dead plants, and old straw if they can't find fresh grass. 
This definitely gives you insight into how resilient they are to survive in their natural surroundings. But to say that lions would never want to meet them is a pretty big call to make. If they're hungry enough, they'll make an exception and give a zebra a taste test if there's nothing slower around. What may make a zebra less desirable to a lion is its kick and speed. If a lion isn't feeling at its best, it may not be able to catch up with a zebra. And if it does, it then has to avoid being kicked in the head by their hard hooves. If a zebra does manage to overpower a lion, even momentarily, they often react by climbing on top of the lion, almost like they're pinning it down. There's no denying that a lion can bring down a zebra, but the fight may not be as easy as you might think. The will to live is an amazing thing. Number 12. Dogs One of the last animals you might expect a lion to keep its distance from is your average doggo, but let us explain why it might. Some large hunting dogs are described as having the same power as a lion and even the same bite force. So it would be like having a lion as a pet, but without the cool mane and high risk of being maimed in your sleep. But of course, a chihuahua would be a light snack for a lion. So we're really talking about those powerful dogs that people bred to protect cattle, like Caucasian Shepherds and Kangal dogs. <laughs> Caucasian Shepherds were bred for cattle protection, but also to attack if they had to. An adult male has a bite force of up to 700 PSI, which you can pretty much say is on par with a lion. They're very obedient dogs, but they don't have a high tolerance for threats. Kangal dogs are also another breed that lions might second-guess themselves against. Their bite force of up to 750 PSI might even be more substantial than some lions, which means they aren't a dog you'd want to mess with. They also have large bodies bodies can run at speeds of up to 31 miles an hour and weigh about 143 pounds, which adds weight to the idea that you're best avoiding this dog if you end up on the wrong side of it. Number 11. Giraffes for obvious reasons, lions should know better than to pick a fight with a fully-sized giraffe. And in most situations, they don't even try. Although it's not uncommon to see prides of young lions full of bravado give it a go. They are rarely successful. Giraffes can weigh over 4,000 pounds and reach heights of about 18 feet. Females are smaller than males, but even they're much larger than most predatory creatures that they share their home with, which is the savannas, grasslands, and woodlands from Chad to South Africa. Giraffes are not not only big, they are incredibly powerful. Their legs have 12-inch hooves, and they can generate 2,000 PSI of force, which is about the equivalent of the strongest ever recorded horse kick. Sure, lions have an excellent bite force, but they'll have a hard time reaching a giraffe's neck where such a bite's gonna have the biggest impact. They're also pretty fast and have an incredible stamina. Lions are also fast, but only for short bursts. They're more likely to give up than a giraffe. If a lion does think it's strong enough and fast enough to take down a healthy, fully grown giraffe, it's gonna have a battle on its hands. Giraffes defend themselves well and can deliver a kick with such force it can break a lion's back, crack its skull, and maybe even a few ribs. Number 10. Bears. Bears and lions are unlikely to meet, but how are we to know that they didn't come to some agreement many years ago that they would just stay out of each other's way and environment? For all we know, they've had a dust-up before, and the loser had to move somewhere else. It's actually really hard to say who would come out on top if they had to go head-to-head. -head. Now, lions, of course, have speed and stealth. They could use these to sneak up on bears and deliver a sharp claw to the face or something. But bears undoubtedly have height and strength. Their brawn and long teeth probably mean that they could quickly engage a lion in a fight that went their favor if they were angry enough. It's also not hard to notice the size difference. The average grizzly bears about 660 pounds, and we've already concluded that lions are under 600 pounds and usually sit at around the 400 pound mark. But while the bear has that weight advantage and can also stand up on two feet pretty good, the lion is pretty agile to avoid any long clawed swipes the bear sends in its direction. It's really hard to say with any kind of certainty who would win, and I think it's fair to say that seeing such a battle play out wouldn't be the most pleasant thing to watch. Number 9. Crocodiles 
The differences between crocodiles and lions are pretty significant, but if you were asked who would win in a fight, would you be able to give a quick fire answer? Probably not. That's a tough call to make. Nile crocodiles can grow up to 20 feet long and weigh around 2,200 pounds. They live for up to a century and have 66 teeth and 3-inch claws to help them protect and feed themselves. They're strong, intelligent, and have pretty good stamina as well. And then there's the lion, which only lives for up to about 15 years, weighs a mere fraction of a croc's weight, and has teeth the same length as a Nile crocodile's claws. But the two are apex predators, and either a lion or crocodile could be declared the winner based on the individual circumstances of each fight. Sometimes crocs can drag lions into the water, and well, that's game over for them. Other times, lions can bite and scratch in just the right places to debilitate and kill a croc. Lions could undoubtedly win on land where they're more agile and comfortable, but they'd likely be at a significant disadvantage in the water. I'm of two minds. Who do you think would win? Number 8. Elephants Elephants are the largest land mammal we have, and they are herbivores that live in herds with a matriarch and complex family structures. Elephants are sometimes portrayed as gentle giants, but what if we told you that they are one of the world's deadliest mammals, killing over 100 and sometimes up to 500 people a year? In mid-2021, 55 people were killed in Sri Lanka in a six-month period by elephants. So that definitely throws that gentle giant theory out the window. Elephants are also well known for throwing huge temper tantrums when they feel threatened or when something doesn't go their way. It makes perfect sense that lions would give them their space. In fact, most animals do. But that's not to say that lions will always stay away from them or that there aren't exceptions to that rule. Lion prides, and sometimes even solo lions, will jump at the chance to take down a young elephant if it's been separated from its herd. Old, sick elephants are also targets. But surprisingly, if a pride is desperate enough for food, they've been known to throw caution to the wind and go after a fully grown adult elephant. This was actually documented in Botswana when a pride of 20 or so lions was able to kill an adult elephant cow. Number 7. Wild Pigs or Boars when I think of pigs, I picture Babe or Spider Pig from The Simpsons. But when you start getting in the territory of pigs that even lions would try not to mess with, you know they're a lot fiercer, scarier, and larger than Spider Pig or Babe ever would be. Wild boars are ancestors of domestic pigs and live across northern and central Europe, much of Asia, the Mediterranean region, and plenty of other places. They can stand over 40 inches at the shoulder and tip the scales at 600 pounds. Some can even resemble brown bears from a distance. That's how large they can grow. So when you picture that, plus their huge teeth, long tusks, and bad attitude, you can imagine how fiercely they would fight in a battle against a lion. Wild boars are also far more aggressive during mating season than at any other time. I think it's safe to say that either boars or lions could win in a fight depending on the circumstances. Lions are incredibly agile and fast, not to mention sneaky. But boars have that brawn that comes in handy during fights for survival. A well-placed tusk here and there could be the difference between triumph or defeat. Number 6. Hyenas Lions are apex predators, so to say that hyenas are one of their greatest rivals is pretty laughable. After all, they weigh less than 200 pounds, only measure a little over 4 feet, and look like something between a cat and a dog. That's not to say they don't stand a fair chance against a lion, though. They have lots of muscle around their necks and shoulders, and this helps them during altercations with lions. And there have been plenty of altercations with lions, let me tell you. To say these two animals don't get along is an understatement. Their main beef with each other is resources. They share the same space and food, and they don't like each other for that reason. Hyenas are known as scavengers, but they're also very good hunters, which means they can become a bit of a nuisance. They're a bit like a pesky sibling that a lot of us have. They steal lion's food after they've put in the effort to kill it and steal a potential snack before a lion's even had a chance to try and kill it. Lions keep their distance basically out of a desire to keep their food to themselves. But they're also well aware that hyenas hunt in big groups, which means that if they catch a lion by itself, they can tear it to pieces. Number 5. Wolf 
It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Wolves may be smaller than lions at under 200 pounds, but that doesn't mean they'll roll over in a battle against a lion. They will fight tooth and nail, and that's probably quite unnerving for lions. Sure, lions have claws capable of disemboweling both small and large animals, but there's no denying that wolves have an impressive set of teeth. Let's not forget Little Red Riding Hood. Wolves have the confidence and skill set to go after large animals like caribou, bison, moose, elk, and deer. They're strong on their own, but when they're in a pack, they're next to unstoppable. When it comes to endurance, it's wolves one, lions zero. Lions can run very fast for very short periods, but you'd basically say wolves are marathon runners. They can run at average speeds of 43 miles an hour for 20 minutes or longer. Lions are capable of winning many fights due to how intelligent they are, but they'll have a hard time outsmarting wolves. They actually strategize in their hunts, with some wolves observing prey for days, working as scouts before finally going in for the kill. Number 4. T-Rex Who do you think would win? A pride of lions or a huge T-Rex? Let's say the T-Rex is 40 feet long, 12 feet tall, and weighs 7 or 8 tons, and it's up against a pride with about a dozen lions and lionesses. Well, who's here today, the lion or the T-Rex? Clearly the lion is the winner. But for argument's sake, let's say the two lived in the same environment today. Would the T-Rex be able to overpower a pride of lions, or would the lions have the upper hand? It's a really tough call to make. A dozen lions could easily clamber up a T-Rex and start delivering some painful bites. But if the T-Rex weighs eight lions, it could probably flick the lions off like fleas. We also don't know how penetrable a T-Rex's skin is, but I'd imagine it's as tough as a rhino's. I'm gonna have to go with the T-Rex here. I think they'd definitely be an animal that lions wouldn't want to meet, and if they did, it probably wouldn't be a great outcome for the lions. Number 3. Crested Porcupines Size is generally a good indicator for who would come out on top in animal encounters in the wild, like birds versus snakes, tigers versus rabbits, etc. But when you put up a fierce, terrifying lion against a crested porcupine, you may as well be putting up a defenseless kitten. They avoid crested porcupines at all costs for obvious reasons. Their quills. If a lion ends up with a quill in its mouth, it can struggle to hunt other prey. It's in pain, will try to hunt softer food like humans and cattle, and may even die from starvation or infection from a single quill inserting itself somewhere inconvenient. Lions don't actively seek out porcupines for this reason, but they may be tempted to take a nibble if they're absolutely starving. But even then, they're much more likely to go for something else, like a human, than risk the pain of a quill in the mouth. A study involving 50 lions being injured or killed by porcupine encounters determined that lions would be in an already desperate situation, which basically means that even before eating a porcupine, they may be at risk of starving to death. Number 2. Oryx Oryx, also known as Gemsbok, are antelopes that live in arid open grasslands and rocky areas of game reserves in South Africa. They're preyed on by wild dogs, spotted hyenas, leopards, and cheetahs. Lions also go after them, but you may be surprised that the outcome's not always in the lion's favor, even though lions definitely look fiercer, stronger, larger, and more capable in every way. Lone bulls are pretty angry fellas, and if they feel under threat by a lion, they aren't afraid to put everything they've got into fending them off and coming out triumphant. And what they've got are very, very long horns that you wouldn't want to find yourself on the receiving end of. And that's how lions meet their maker. They often do end up impaled on these horns. Sometimes the wounds are fatal, but other times they are just painful enough for the lion to go into preservation mode and leave the oryx alone to fight another day. By nature, they're generally not aggressive. The way they usually behave, at least with their own kind, is for the common goal of conserving water and energy. Number 1. Killer Bees While it's unlikely that a lion would encounter killer bees, it's interesting to think that a creature so small could take down a lion, but it is entirely possible. Killer bees, or Africanized honeybees, were human-bred in Brazil to become honey producers in warm climates. 
Fortunately, their name isn't associated with how many people they've killed, but how aggressive they are. Seriously, even a ferocious lion will probably take a step back and wonder where they bought their manners from. African honeybees are definitely more hostile than European bees, especially when it comes to nest defense. When a European honeybee colony feels under threat, about 10% of the bees within it will come out to see what's going on and start stinging the threat. But killer bees? They're a lot more offended by your presence. If they notice a threat, they completely empty their nest, which means you could be faced with hundreds of thousands of bees all coming at you at once. As each bee stings, pheromones are released to signal even more bees to arrive. As it takes around a thousand stings to bring down a human, if not less, you may not stand a chance, let alone a lion. It would be a close call with some of these animals if you put a lion up against them, but I'm starting to think lions may not be as strong as I remember them being as a child. What do you think? Are any animals you've just learned about not capable of winning against a lion? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!